Theodore Skalkpol is an American sociologist and political scientist author who teaches at Harvard University. She currently serves as the Victor S. Thomas Professor of Government and Sociology. Skoke Paul is influential in sociology as an advocate of the historical institutional and comparative approaches. She is well known in political science for her state autonomy theory. Skouk Paul has written widely for both popular and academic audiences. She has written and or edited dozens of scholarly books, publications, journals, and articles. Skouk Paul's works and opinions have been associated with the structuralist school. As an example, she argues that social revolutions can best be explained given the relation with specific structures of agricultural societies and their respective states. Skalkpol gives equal importance to the role of international forces, especially their influence on state and social structures of a given society. Such an approach differs greatly from more behaviorist ones, which tend to emphasize the role of revolutionary populations, revolutionary psychology, and or revolutionary consciousness as determinant factors of revolutionary processes. Biography Theodore Skalkpol was born in Detroit, Michigan on May 4, 1947. She earned her B.A. at Michigan State University in 1969. She then went on to earn her M.A. and Ph. D. at Harvard University. While attending Harvard University, Skalkpol studied with Barrington Moore, Jr. From 1975 to 1981, Skalkpol served as an assistant and associate professor of sociology at Harvard University. During this time, Skalkpol published her first of many books, this one called States and Social Revolutions, a comparative analysis of social revolutions in Russia, France and China. Some of her subsequent work focused on methodology and theory, including the co-edited volume Bringing the State Back In, which heralded a new focus by social scientists on the state as an agent of social and political change. In 1981, Skalkpol moved on to work at the University of Chicago. For the next five years, Skalkpol would serve as an associate professor of sociology and political science, and of social science, professor of sociology and political science, and director for the Center for the Study of Industrial Societies. From 1986 to the present, Skalkpol has held various positions at Harvard University to include Professor of Sociology, Director from the Center for American Political Studies, Dean of the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, and presently is the Professor of Government and of Sociology, Victor S. Thomas Professor of Government and Sociology. According to her profile on the John F. Kennedy School of Government website, she studies inequality in American society, women and public policy, and the development of voluntary associations in you. S. History to elucidate recent transformations within the American policy personal life. In 1967, while studying at Michigan State University, Skalkpol married Bill Skalkpol, a physicist who taught at Boston University. Skalkpol and her husband had one child, Michael Skalkpol. Michael Skalkpol is a graduate of Brown University and is currently in his final year of study at Stanford Law School. Theodore Skalkpol currently lives and works in Cambridge. Cambridge, Massachusetts. Controversy. In the early 1980s, Professor Skokpol publicly alleged that Harvard University had denied her tenure because she was a woman. This charge was found to be justified by an internal review committee in 1981. In 1984, Harvard University offered Dry Skalkpol a tenured position, which she accepted. Honors and titles. 
Throughout her career, Dry Skalk Paul has held many positions at various academic and professional organizations, some of which include President of Politics and History Section, Chairperson, and later Council Member of the American Political Science Association. Out of over 100 past presidents since 1903, only about 10 women have held that office. Skalk Paul is also founder of and co-editor Princeton Studies in American Politics, Historical, Comparative, and International Perspectives, and Senior Advisor in the Social Sciences, Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study. According to her curriculum V. I. Skalk Paul has been distinguished by over 20 awards and honors, some of which are C. Wright Mills Award of the, the Society for the Study of Social Problems, Woodrow Wilson Foundation, Award of the American Political Science Association, elected to the American Philosophical Society, and she was elected to the National Academy of Sciences. In 2007, Professor Skalk Paul was awarded the Johann Skite Prize in Political Science, one of the world's most prestigious prizes in political science for her visionary analysis of the significance of the state for revolutions, welfare, and political trust, pursued with theoretical depth and empirical evidence. Johann Skite Prize in Political Science, State Autonomy Theory before she wrote Protecting Soldiers and Mothers, Skalk Paul first devised what she termed state autonomy theory. This theory underlined the idea that state bureaucracies could have the potential for autonomous operations, and that this potential was ignored by scientists who were focused on society-centric studies. Skalk Paul considers the idea that parties are more important in America than the government, and that class dominance plays heavily into American politics. States and Social Revolutions Dr. Skalkpol's most famous book, States and Social Revolutions, a comparative analysis of social revolutions in Russia, France and China, discusses how most theories account only for direct action in bringing about revolutions. Social revolutions are fast-paced foundational transformations of society's state and class structures. She includes the structure involved involved in creating a revolutionary situation that can lead to a social revolution, one that changes civic institutions and government once the administration and military branches collapse. In her text, Skoke Paul offers a framework of reference for analyzing social revolutionary transformations in modern world history and discusses and compares the causes of the French Revolution of 1787-18. to the Russian Revolution of 1917-1921, and the Chinese Revolution of 1911-1949. According to Skoke Paul, there are two stages to social revolutions, a crisis of state and the emergence of a dominant class to take advantage of a revolutionary situation. The crisis of state emerges from poor economy, natural disaster, food shortage, or security concerns. Leaders of the revolution also have to face these constraints, and the handling of them affects how well they re-establish the state. Skalk Paul uses Marxism's class struggle to assert that the main causes of social unrest are state social structures, international competitive pressures, international demonstrations and class relations. Critics suggest that Skalk Paul ignores the role of individuals and ideology in users' varied comparative methodological strategies, protecting soldiers and mothers. In this book, Skalk Paul considers increased benefits for Civil War veterans and the families resulting from competitive party politics, as well as greater actions taken in women's movements. Soldiers and mothers benefited from social spending, labor regulations, and health education through reformative women's clubs across the nation. Simultaneously, Skalk Paul refutes her claim that theorists had ignored states' independent power in her state autonomy.
autonomy theory, explaining my state-centered theoretical frame of reference had evolved into a fully polity-centered approach, meaning that social movements, coalitions of pressure groups, and political parties must be given the due in understanding power in America. Dr. Skouk Paul explains how clubs and associations fill the vacuum left by fewer bureaucracies and an official church throughout the country, offering a case study in how women succeeded in gaining labor rights, pensions, minimum wage, and subsidized natal health clinics. Further, Skouk Paul points out that women were able to overcome class disparity to achieve these goals, working at a national level, influencing representatives with books, TV, magazines, and meetings. Diminished Democracy Diminished Democracy discusses the changes in U.S. public involvement and its recent concerning decline. Skouk Paul talks about how to reverse it in explaining how the U.S. became a civic nation, the organizers of that movement, management of civic organizations, changes in them, the harmful effects of the change, and how to recreate a sense of citizenship, since fewer and fewer Americans join voluntary groups that meet frequently. There has been a proliferation of non-profit groups led by elites who can interact with the government but not the people. Dr. Skouk Paul provokes the reader with the idea that civic involvement will one day become another job rather than a civilian responsibility. Published Works a critical review of Barrington Moore's Social Origins of Dictatorship and Democracy. Politics and Society, 4 pp. 1-34. Skoke Paul, Theda, States and Social Revolutions, A Comparative Analysis of France, Russia, and China. New York and Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Review article, Cultural Idioms and Political Ideologies in the Revolutionary Reconstruction of State Power, a rejoined at Asurul, the Journal of Modern History Volume. 57, No. 1, March 1985. Skokpol, Theda, Protecting Soldiers and Mothers, The Political Origins of Social Policy in the United States. Cambridge, Massachusetts, The Belknap Press of Harvard University Press. Skokpol, Theda, Dot, Social Revolutions in the Modern World. Cambridge and New York, Cambridge University Press. Skoke Paul, Theda, Social Policy in the United States, Future Possibilities in Historical Perspective, Princeton NJ, Princeton University Press, Skoke Paul, Theda, State and Party in America's New Deal, with Kenneth Feingold, Madison, Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin Press. Skoke Paul, Theda, Boomerang, Clinton's health security effort and the turn against government in U.S. politics. New York, W.W. W. Norton, Skoke Paul, Theda, Boomerang, health reform and the turn against government. New York, W.W. W. Norton, Skoke Paul, Theda, The Missing Middle, Working Families and the Future of American Social Policy. S. Entry Foundation Book, New York, W. W. Norton, Skoke Paul, Theda, Diminished Democracy, From Membership to Management in American Civic Life, Rothbaum Series, Norman, Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma Press, Skoke Paul, Theda, What a Mighty Power We Can Be, African American Fraternal Groups and the Struggle for Racial Equality. Princeton NJ, Princeton University Press, Skoke Paul, Theda, Dot, The Tea Party and the Remaking of Republican Conservatism, Oxford University Press, 2011, reprinted April, 2013, Skoke Paul, Theda, Dot, Obama and America's Political Future, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press, Skoke Paul, Theda, and Vanessa Williamsland, Dot, The Tea Party and the Remaking of Republican Conservatism, Oxford, Oxford University Press, 
edited Marxist inquiries, studies of labor, class, and states, University of Chicago Press, 1982, Vision and Method in Historical Sociology, Cambridge University Press, 1984. Bringing the State Back in, Cambridge University Press, 1985, The Politics of Social Policy in the United States, Princeton University Press, 1988, American Society and Politics, Institutional, Historical and Theoretical Perspectives, McGraw-Hill, 1995, States, Social Knowledge, and the Origins of Modern Social Policies, Princeton University Press, 1996. The New Majority, Toward a Popular Progressive Politics, Yale University Press, 1997. Democracy, Revolution, and History, Cornell University Press, 1998, Civic Engagement in American Democracy, Brookings Institution Press, Russell Sage Foundation, 1999. The Transformation of American Politics, Activist Government and the Rise of Conservatism, Princeton University Press, 2007. Theodore Skoukpaul is an American sociologist and political scientist author who teaches at Harvard University. She currently serves as the Victor S. Thomas Professor of Government and Sociology. Skoukpaul is influential in sociology as an advocate of the historical institutional and comparative approaches. She is well known in political science for her state autonomy theory. Skoukpaul has written widely for both popular and academic audiences. She has written and or edited dozens of scholarly books, publications, journals, and articles. Skoukpaul's works and opinions have been associated with the structuralist school. As an example, she argues that social revolutions can best be explained given the relation with specific structures of agricultural societies and their respective states. Skoukpaul gives equal importance to the role of international forces, especially their influence on state and social structures of a given society. Such an approach differs greatly from more behaviorist ones, which tend to emphasize the role of revolutionary populations, revolutionary psychology, and or revolutionary consciousness as determinant factors of revolutionary processes. Biography Theodore Skoukpaul was born in Detroit, Michigan on May 4, 1946.